Good morning, everybody. Rather chilly one at that here at Wholesome Roots. Uh, just yesterday, beautiful, warm weather. Had my shorts on. Just a nice, nice day and a pleasant evening. Um, and that all changed overnight. <laughs> Woke up this morning to some rain that we weren't expecting and much, much cooler temperatures. I have one day off of work and that's one day to get done as much as I'm able to. And it's that time of year that I am going to move the goat paddock for the first time, amongst other things. I'm gonna start there. But first, I'm gonna go check on things down in the barn. Oh boy. First thing, um, we didn't put away the seed trays last night because the low temperature was in the 50s but with that rain that came through this morning now uh, temperatures have gone down into the 40s so I'm gonna put these guys back up in the barn very fortunate that the, the rain coming off the roof does not appear to have caused any harm to the plants so Rose will be happy to hear that because when she learned that it, it had rained this morning, that was the first thing she said. Um, which, looking at it now, um, yeah, that's unfortunate that right where the water comes off the barn, uh, looks like those cells. Oh, did get impacted but in the scale of things the majority seems to be fine but we weren't expecting rain so that's just unfortunate get autumn up and on her feet for or on her hooves for a little bit She seems like she's doing great. Let's talk about this paddock system. Um, so every season I've been making these paddocks for the goats um, to rotationally graze them. And usually I was having to move them about every week. And that gets kind of tough um, when you're on a schedule like me um, this time of year I'm gonna be working six sometimes seven days a week and that's not practical to have to spend my only day off moving a paddock each and every time it's different a little bit different every year it seems like every year we have a little bit more uh, fencing that we've put into this and so that makes us able to make bigger paddocks. So this year, you guys can see the, the paddock they've been in for winter is pretty huge. I won't have to move them as often because there won't be as many places to move them with having a paddock this big. So what I'm gonna do today, I'm going to shift over as far as I can to this wood line and make the paddock starting there and they're gonna hang out there for a good while until it's time to move them. And the area way back that way where the dogs and the chickens have been, um, that will be the next paddock. So we're gonna give that time to grow up a little bit and then the next move will be way over there. And then by then, then they can come back right here. Um, so this will be the main pasture to put our paddocks, it always is. And then there's other places on the farm that we can try out and, and make paddocks there as well. But for the most part, this is usually where they spend most of the time grazing. And then we'll just go from there. So uh, I have not moved a paddock yet this season. This is the first paddock move 
Um, after all these posts have been in the ground all winter, sometimes it gets a little uh, tough pulling them out. They seem to get really stuck in there sometimes. So I'm gonna try to be quick because it is chilly and uh, being quick will warm me up. So let's get started. is actually made. Um, I haven't put the electric uh, energizer on it yet or the water trough. Got to do it a little bit differently today. Um, I can do all those things while the goats are out in it. But right now I'm going to go in the house and grab the boys because Rose is going to be on a podcast. So I'm going to get them out of her way so she won't be distracted and she can have a lovely time. Come get it. Okay, the, the milking is done. Uh, I think these goats are ready to come out. They don't know that they have a new paddock. So let's see how they react. still do not know. Okay, some of them are figuring it out. Let's see, over there. Come on, guys. Girls. It's going to be worth it. You're going to be happy once you do go. Come on, hearts. There. Okay, the goats are out. I'm going to go get Autumn so she can enjoy some of this. It's warming up a little bit. Still not like it was yesterday, but eh, it's April. No, it's March. Why did I say April? April's coming in like another day or so. Um, all right. Oh. There is something that you guys need to see. Hold on. I 
I didn't think she was going to want to join us. I left the stall door open and she wasn't getting up. But here is Precious. Precious has not been doing so well, guys. Um, but maybe, maybe this will be uh, helpful for her. Come on, girl. I'm going to try to encourage her gently. Hey, Precious. Alright, look, new paddock. Alright, girl. There you go. Good. She's still a little bit weak, but her coming out here on her own and having access to all this new vegetation is going to be good for her, so enjoy. <laughs> she's making lots of progress, but she's still not at the point. Uh, where she's walking out with the other goats so I'm gonna give her a little assistance just out to the paddock and then I'm just gonna let her uh, eat some of the stuff they're all eating all right girl the paddock is your oyster well you probably don't know what that means it means you can eat whatever you want out here a time when I was lonely I was trying hard to get by taking day by day but baby then you came along I know I never felt that strong nothing's gonna hold us down yeah we are taking
I gotta get their water trough uh, so they'll have water. I need to get the energizer hooked up um, so it'll be electric electrified and I'm gonna secure the bottom wires so they can't sneak under it but um, I needed to stop once again to show you guys something else that's pretty cool it's a baby turtle it's so little itty bitty look how little it is compared to my finger So, I am going to take the turtle and we're going to go inside to show Rose and the boys. Oh my gosh. How adorable is that, guys? Look at those markings, too. It's like it's beautiful. So, earlier I had mentioned that I was going in the house to get the boys um, because Rose was going on a podcast. And I did go in, but the boys were content to watch uh, a movie quietly, they promised. So she did her podcast and they upheld their promise. Uh, so I, they ended up not coming out. It's just kind of chilly. Okay, little guy. I'm gonna let you go and I'll let you go in the direction that you were headed so that way you can go find the other turtles and be happy well he was headed towards the pond so I'm just gonna let him make that decision if that's where it needs to go. I'm going to step out of this. I've got other things to do. So good luck, little guy. Now it's time to put on the Energizer. Um, love this. Love this uh, Steel by Red Snapper Energizer. It's, it's a strong one. Um, the only con I could say um, is there's no way to attach it to a T-post like I'm used to. So when you're rotationally grazing, uh, that kind of creates a little problem um, to where, what do, you, what do you do with it, you know? It doesn't really sit flat on the ground, as you can tell. Um, so I, I knew at some point I was going to have to build a mount for it, and I've done that. Um, so since we're going to be over here by the buck paddock, um, it's not all the way secure yet, but um, I'm just going to build a simple wooden mount and mount it to the buck pen for now. And then whenever I want to move it, I will just uh, build a little stand for it. So uh, let's get this thing uh, put on so we can energize our fence. Autumn just stood up on her own. And it's a shame I didn't get it on camera because she was over by that spool, sort of. And she had kind of slowly progressed uh, since she's been out here. She takes a step or two and then she lays down. She eats the stuff around her and then she stands up, takes a step or two. And she's made it that far by doing that. I'm going to go in and check on her, offer her some water, and then move on to the last part of my paddock project for today. Alright, the back wall is nice and secure. Don't pull up on it. I'm just walking around doing the pull test. And if it's not coming up on the bottom, I'm happy. Um, at least I know. Uh, nobody should be trying to nose under it now. Um, that should help. Should help. This is where the hay shelter used to be. And this 
is a couple months worth of hay that the goats did not eat, will not eat. And now it's right here in the middle of the pasture. Now this would be great for a garden. I'm sure that's been mentioned before. But out in the middle of everything, I'm not so sure that this is the best place for a garden, at least for human food. So we need to figure out what we're gonna do about this. Um, plant a goat garden? Plants that uh, grow and reseed themselves, maybe? I don't know how that would work. And then, you know, it would be there for goats to eat. Or I need to get on the tractor and spread this stuff out because otherwise there's, there's just going to be a huge unusable spot here. So that's something that we need to figure out. Okay, so this is all situated for now and we are into the afternoon, pretty well into the afternoon. I'm going to go inside and take a break and then I'll be out for the evening chores. Okay, break time is over. I'm back out here and it's time to do the evening chores. I do the evening chores every night, rain or shine, work day or off day, doesn't really matter. I do the evening chores and evening chores is just moving the birds around, feeding them, gathering eggs, uh, getting the goats dinner ready, and shutting down the homestead for the evening. Um, so now that the goats are out of this area, um, their old paddock, uh, I'll begin moving the chickens into it. I can more better line them up now. Where they were at was kind of hard to keep them all in a straight line. I like to keep them all in a line. Now I'm going to be able to do that and start working them in this direction. Uh, there's still a few more spots for them outside of that, but we'll get there. Alright, now birds are all moved. They're ready for their pellets. I could probably shift the uh, tractors over left or right because there's a lot of stuff they can eat still before uh, we work our way into here. Okay, who wants pellets? I don't really give the chickens as much pellets as I used to. I'd rather them eat the clover and grass and stuff. Um, the ducks, though, they're bigger. There's more of them. Uh, I, I do give them a good, a good portion of the grain because they they eat it so fast. They're just they're. I guess they have bigger appetites or something. Um, and they'll, they'll let you know from across the whole homestead whether or not they're uh, sufficiently fed. They are loud. Ducks are not shy and they will let you know that they're hungry in a hurry. Chickens, they don't need so much. And the ducks have surprised me because I've, I've never been a big fan of them um, because of a lot of it's because of their water situation, how they make their water so nasty. But I gotta say, since we brought the ducks into a tractor and I'm using one of these for their water, and they do make it nasty really quick. But um, they're actually pretty well managed inside of the tractor and I give them 
you know, whole thing of water every day. And it's actually not that big of a deal for me to do that. So, there you go. I forgot to show you guys the, uh, I got them out. The ducks started laying eggs again. So we got two duck eggs today. Um, they don't use the nest box, which I didn't expect that they would. It'd be nice if they did though, and their eggs wouldn't be so dirty. But, oh well. Chickens and ducks are happy. I'm happy. Now it's time to do goat dinner. That's what I call it. Time to make the goat dinner. Put away the goats. I'm gonna have to make some drenches. Um, you know, for the ones that need drenches. Because that's part of goat dinner. And I think I'm about ready for my dinner. Alright, so for the feed, and I use the alfalfa pellets that I'm about to open and of course the things want to rip on me <laughs> um, but yeah you take the whole bag and I dump in about a third of it all right Next, I'll get the whole oats. And I'll dump in about a third of it. Next, I get the non-GMO all stock. And open the bag. And you guessed it. I dump in about a third of it. And next, black oil sunflower seeds. Not a third. Um, just a. Uh, I like to, where, where I can definitely see the sunflower seeds, um, just like a, a healthy scoop full. Then I actually have to mix this um, by shovel because um, it's kind of heavy. And mix it until it looks fairly consistent. Okay, and then... I am happy with that. And there we have it. This is our uh, this is our feed mix. This is what we use here at Wholesome Roots. And it's just one of the many, many things that has to get done. And you guys probably don't even realize. I mean, there's so much work that goes into this place that doesn't make it into the vlog, but now it has. Here, now it's in the vlog. There you go. Alright, now I better feed them. They all hear, heard me making the mix. Now it's time to get them in. Okay, another huge development. Um, Autumn is like really... <laughs> 
<laughs> that was Rose's Marco Polo. Um, yeah, look at this. Autumn is like for real walking. Precious, uh, she laid down up there. But, um, oh my gosh. You coming? Incredible. Incredible. She's still wobbly, but oh my goodness, guys. She walked from all the way up there at her paddock all the way down here. All on her own. Wow. Okay, precious. You ready? Come on, girl. Come on, girl. Glad you got back up. She's just really weak, you guys. We're still treating her. This goat, oh my goodness. I cannot believe what I just saw. She made it down here all by herself. Autumn walked from that shelter all the way down the path here into the barn and into her little stall all by herself one last mission I have to cover our strawberries because we're gonna get into the 30s tonight and we don't want anything to happen to these precious berries and I'm losing light okay guys well I better get these covered I'm losing light big time and my dogs are hungry do you hear them well do you hear Titus Titus talks to me every night when he's hungry he's telling me it's time time for my food so I'm going to take care of all this, and that's going to be it. So thank you guys for watching. You know the drill. And we'll see you next time on Wholesome Roots. And my name is Ryan, and this was my day off of work. Good night.